I recently visited a barrier island. A barrier island is created from weathering, erosion, and deposition. Let's take a look at these three items. To begin with, keep in mind, weathering creates the sediment, erosion carries the sediment, and deposition drops the sediment. The weathering of rocks is a physical or chemical change which results in the dissolving or breaking down of rocks on earth. There are two major types. Physical weathering, which involves breaking rocks into smaller fragments caused by environmental factors. There are several agents of physical weathering. These include wind, water and waves, glaciers, gravity, and even plants. Chemical weathering involves rocks being changed into a new substance or new minerals. Here are a couple of examples. Remember, weathering creates the sediment, erosion carries the sediment, and deposition drops the sediment. Erosion happens when rocks and sediments are picked up and moved to another place by either water, wind, or even gravity. There are several agents of erosion. Rainfall can cause erosion and wash, set, wash sediment away. Valley erosion occurs when rushing streams and rivers move rock and sediment downstream. Oceans are a huge force of erosion. Wind is an agent of erosion. A dust storm can be a huge force of erosion. And ice and glaciers can erode rock. Deposition occurs when the agent of erosion slows down enough to where the sediment is deposited. In this picture, you can see an example of deposition. The water has slowed down and the rock and pebbles have been deposited. These sand dunes were created by deposition of wind. This river delta was created by the deposition of a river. So in summary, you know what it is. Weathering creates the sediment. Erosion carries the sediment, and deposition drops the sediment. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.